Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We know that the power and torque produced by the engine is transmitted to the wheels and this is what makes the vehicle move. The torque produced not only rotates the wheels but can also act on the differential housing and may cause it to deform. This reaction on the differential housing is known as torque reaction or end torque. So, two types of arrangements are introduced to withstand both the thrust and the torque reaction. They are Hotchkiss drive and torque tube drive. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Hotchkiss drive. During the early part of the 20th century, two major types of transmission systems were used. They were the shaft drive and the chain drive. But during the mid of the 20th century, the Hotchkiss drive replaced the shaft drive and chain drive and started gaining popularity. One such example is the 1984 Toyota Corolla SR5. It's a front-engine rear-wheel drive car that has the Hotchkiss transmission. This Hotchkiss drive consists of a propeller shaft and two longitudinal leaf springs. The front end of the propeller shaft is fixed to a sliding joint which is placed in between the gearbox and the propeller shaft. Similarly, the rear end of the propeller shaft is fixed to a universal joint which is placed in between the rear axle casing and the propeller shaft. Talking about the leaf spring, the front end is hinged to the frame while the rear end is connected to the frame with the help of the swinging shackles. When the vehicle is moving, the driving force is transferred from the axle casing to the front end of the suspension and then to the frame. So, both the rear end torque and the driving force are opposed by the springs. When the torque acts, the leaf springs tend to bend as shown here. This is because of the torque acting in the clockwise direction. Similarly, when the braking torque acts, the leaf springs tend to bend as shown in this picture. This is because the torque acts in the anti-clockwise direction. The ideology behind the change in direction is based upon the right hand thumb rule. So, while driving fast or braking, the springs deflect. The joints provided at the front and the rear end of the propeller shaft help in increasing its length. So, we can conclude by saying that this arrangement avoids damage to the propeller shaft and the other components as well. In our next video, we'll be talking about the second type of arrangement that is the torque tube drive. So, stay tuned and see you in the next one. Until then, bye!